Belief in Divine Predestination The last pillar of the Islamic faith is that you must believe in the concept of divine decree. When you believe in this tenet, you affirm that everything, good or bad, that happens in your life emanates from God, the Almighty, and is something He wills to happen. The Arabic word for divine decree is al-Qadr, which translates to measure, determine, assess, decide, and judge. In the context of religion, the term means divine, determined measurements and sustenance for everyone and everything by his wisdom and power. God states in his book, Indeed, all things we created with predestination. Quran, chapter 54, verse 49. God, the Almighty, being all-knowing and all-wise, knows what we have done in the past, what we are doing now, and what we will do in the future, even before our birth. After all, can God be God if he doesn't know everything, including the future? Whereas humanity has the free will to make their own choices, everything happens only and directly through God's will and power. If you question why you were held responsible for the choices and actions you make if God decreed them all before your birth, you must realize that whatever has been written about you was only written because you will make those choices on your own. You would not be making choices in life because they were written beforehand. They were written beforehand because God can foretell the future, and he decided to write everything that will happen until the day of judgment on a tablet. But because God wrote all that will occur in your life on a tablet doesn't mean that God determined or dictated the choices and actions you will take, and that these decisions were preordained against your will. God wrote all your actions because you will commit them. You did not commit them because God wrote them. Everyone has the free will to make whatever choice they want.